Turn on the torch, light up the flame. Time to melt some glass, my friends. There you are, here I am, to explain, to teach, and create again. Today, I thought about making a piano. And everybody says, ah, well, I've done it in the past with lace. And this type of lace is different than most people's lace in that it becomes its own support. And I'm going to do this long enough and fast enough. Touch two, make a little bit of gap. Touch to the other side, make a little gap. Touch to the other side, back and forth, as you can see. And it supports itself. And it might be a little bit wonky, but it'll straighten itself out as time goes on anyway. But touch two, pull out back and forth and this makes a nice lace and this is the outer rim of the piano that I'll make the shape out of it's just a matter of making enough of it yeah where I'm at right now it's a little cool but not cold enough to stop me from doing what I need love to do back and forth keep it going and if you make this lace even thinner, you can uh, make even a smaller piano. Or if you wanted to make it bigger, you can make a bigger piano. Or also, this type of stuff, if you wanted to get tech, get into some cool stuff, you could make a biplane out of this same type of... This is the, the wings to the biplane, and uh, tail, and actually the fuselage, instead of going side to side I just do it uh, sort of like a coil pot and you can make a, a cylinder out of it and I've also made golf bags and stuff like that out of it it's pretty fun and pretty cool I think I'm close to having enough of what I want to get the job done okay there we go. That'll do. Now, see, as you can see, it's very supportive to itself. And now I'm going to heat up in the middle here. And it's going to fold over a little bit. And yes, it's going to, sometimes it can crack and stress out a little bit. And it might fall apart. But nine times out of ten, if you do it, see, now that's the outer edge of the piano. And now I'm going to bend it outward. And you'll start to see the shape of the piano very quickly here. So far so good. And now I'm going to bend it forward again. Okay. Uh-oh dyslexia coming in and I don't remember which way that the uh, top of the piano should be. <laughs> uh, I think that's it. There we go. We'll deal with it. I'm going to hold on to it back here and I've got to get uh, the lace going on in the front here to go across the front. Need a little bit more for it. Are we there yet? Yeah. Okay. Thought I had enough. Not quite. But that's okay. As you can see, it did crack a little bit. But this type of lace works really well to heat back up to itself and repair well. As is the loop-de-loo lace. It's kind of, you touch it and it goes, <laughs> basically falls in a half a dozen pieces. I, you have to warm it in really, really easy and slow, and you have to warm it out easy and slow. Okay. I still need a little bit. Dang it. Let's fudge it and bring them together anyway. Right about there. You'll see. Now to just make the rest of it. Probably should have used about 
six or seven millimeter rod into this, but I'm use what it's available to, you know, if they don't, if you can't love the one you're with, I mean, if you can't be with the one you love, love the one you're with. Is which, and I had this in hand, so we'll live with it. Now we're uh, going to flame it out a little bit and do some shaping, as you will see. Flatten it out. Curve it around a little bit better. Matter of fact, <laughs> as I look at this, <laughs> it's getting there. Uh, excuse me. Probably could be just a little bit more narrow right there. It's been a while since I made these, so it, it'll still give it the shape of the piano, and it'll still give you uh, ideas to what to do. Okay. Hold in shape. And there we go. This is the top of the piano. This is the keys are going to go right here. Across the front. I'm going to put a bottom on this thing real quick. go let's put the bottom on first there we go a little bit of flame going on and it's just going to be a back and forth lace like I've done here on the on the to make this together but do it in a couple of sections back and forth touch and pull and it's a little bit easier not having to support it to itself but support it to the bottom of the piano but again when you want to make a section without it it works there we go I'll probably do two more of those To keep to the same distance, shape, and pull of the lace. Oops, that one got a little bit unmelted when I was trying to lace it. Now the final lace. Don't forget you're working with the three-dimensional object, so it helps to, even though it looks like I'm not, but I am. I continually turn this rod so that it's not getting heated all the way around as we're working it. Okay, guys, I know I there's a lot that it's kind of hard to explain. Um, there's a lot in your brain going on when you're doing glass blowing, and a lot of it it's like somebody coming up to you and asking you, "How do you hop on your on one leg?" It's like you can't explain it, but you can do it because a lot of it isn't in the verbal part of your brain. It's in the uh, mechanical part of your brain where you just actually, you know, get the balancing out, get the leg going. You do the jumping up and down, and you got it. You can explain. You can do it, but it's hard to explain. That's the same thing a lot with glass. And a lot of it I've tried to bring over into the, um, the verbal part of your brain so that you can understand what's going on as I'm doing it but some of it I'm sorry it, it, it's it only comes with practice practice and more practice and I'm not trying to uh, tell you you can't get there because you can see there looking like a piano already huh well there we are <laughs> okay now uh, the keys are basically the same lace just going in the front of it and I'll do the four the two legs I mean three legs not two excuse me just like this back and forth 
I think of that, and I think of the old Bugs Bunny dueling piano deal. Ta -da, ta -da, ta -da. Anyway. Anyway. When you get a music and stuck in your head, it stays there for a while, doesn't it? <laughs> Don't you just hate it when somebody comes up and starts humming a tune to you and, and, and you don't like it and then all of a sudden they walk away and there you are humming that same tune. It's like, no, I don't like that tune. Stop it. <laughs> but it happens. I'm sorry that you're getting a constant bounce like this, but it turns out that so that you guys can get a better angle, the camera is right in front of my head. <laughs> And sometimes for me to try to get a better angle at the glass itself, I tend to lean in and bump the camera. Sorry, but it happens. Heat it. This is leg number one. And you could do this all with one size rod, like if you had uh, and you wanted to use five or six, that would be a good size for this size piece right here. Always make sure that when you're heating them and putting them together that it's not just stuck together but sealed together well. It makes a big difference in your work in the long run. Take that extra couple of seconds to melt it together. And then you won't have to take another three or four hours trying to put it back together later because it broke. One's not long enough. Let's take a little, make this one a little shorter. Because I can, and it's easier than trying to make the other one longer. <laughs> That's two. <laughs> Sometimes you'll figure it out. I'll try to make this the, the next one a little bit longer, so that I can make it shorter to these. Yeah, this one needs just, now it won't be that hard to do a little bit, but when you've got to do a whole bunch, it makes a big difference in trying to do the leg. And there we go. Now, I'm going to um, take it off the support over here and put it on the support here for one good reason I need to get to that piano leg and that support was in the way uh, gently pulling it off and the leg is going to go right there anyway yeah, see, it gets in your head and you get stuck there. Sorry, folks. Okay, almost got the legs on. Then I'll put the lid to the piano on, and we have. All right, might help if I learned how to make a straight line. <laughs> but grace and gravity works for you. Uh -huh. I'm sorry, I'm out of view when I'm doing this. I guess I could zoom out so you could see a little bit more. Hold it, folks. Ah. Zoom out. I think I'm out as far as I can go. Not sure, but it'll have to do. I don't want to do that. Okay. Now, 
Oh, when you least expect it. I'm surprised that wind blew it. Usually they don't. That'd be just right. Now I'm going to add the lace to the um, top for the lid. It'll basically hinge from this edge just like a regular piano lid would do. And I'll fold it back and forth just like I have in the past. Coming off this, like so. Oops, I also forgot to do the edge in the front. Which I'll do right now too. that in and get it right. Get it over. Ah. Of course, it comes off the cold weld. Place that up a little bit more on this, and then go ahead and pull that off a little bit higher. And then we can go back and do the other direction a little bit. Now we have to do that to there, and then continue on back and forth. Matter of fact, I think I will make a biplane in an up and coming video. If you guys like that idea, email or leave a comment and I will try to do my best. It'll happen in the next couple of weeks for sure. Okay. And what I'm doing right now is where it's going to hinge and go downward, and I'm just checking it. Warming it in just at that spot where they were welded together at that spot and bring it down. Looks like I'm going to need a little bit more piano lid on the outer side, but I'm going to stretch it a little bit too. Looking good. Now it there a little bit. Also, need a little bit of tweaking right here. And again, the thing I like about this type of, uh, of uh, lace is, as you can see, I'm heating it up over and over again. And it's taking to it so well without too much uh, stressing and cracking and that's the thing I like about it it really does it's forgiving that's the best way to describe it once you warm it in or warm it up you can play with it a lot that needs a little bit more to the back edge here and I know I should be using close to five mil or six mil for this looping job but it'll do the trick like I said and I I also want you to know that I am turning this rod back and forth and back and forth so that you're melting the whole rod and bringing it together
What is that? Getting there. I've got to do one more little thing, and I'm going to call this. Qu I know I need to do a stool, but I'm not going to in this video. Just to keep it short and sweet. K-I-S-S. -S. No, K-I-S. Keep it simple. And a stool is just a... You can do the tripod type stool. You can do any type of stool you want. And what I'm doing is just putting a connecting leg or, or support. Where they, you know, when you open the piano, you have a sort of like a, a stem up there to hold it in place. I know it's a little big, but it does the job. What do you think? I like it. Thanks for watching, guys. Carpe Vitro, as you can see, sits real well. Enjoy your day.